So welcome to South Yard and to the Ropery. Now we're very fortunate at Princess Yachts to have this building. Uh, you may hear a bit of background noise, that's because we have a tin roof and it's typical Plymouth weather and pouring with rain outside, so apologies for that. But we make uh, a full scale mock-up in plywood of every boat we build. And that's from the smallest boats all the way up to the largest in the range. And that gives us the ability to you know, work out those minor details, you know, how high settees should be, how you flow for a boat, what works, what doesn't work in real life size. You know, computer models go so far, but we feel that touch and feel of getting on board the boats really gives us that extra advantage. Now, we're looking at the Y72 today, which is a brand new product, um, replacing the very successful 68 and 70. Now, those models were revolutionary for us. It was one of those first boats that we as salesmen could get on board and say nothing. You know, the clients appreciated what the boat was and you could sit back and they would almost buy the boat themselves. So this had a long way to go. The design team have worked really hard to try and achieve that. And I think you'll see as we go through the boat um, very successfully. So like I said, use your imagination. This is a, a plywood mock-up with, with foam, but I uh, hope you, achieve, you see what we've tried to achieve. Find us on the aft deck, big seating. This is gonna have a nice, can't see it in here. We've got a plastic roof above us, but it'll have a good overhang, giving plenty of shade to the guys who sit back here. Folding off deck table. Staircase has been swapped round, so staircase up to the flybridge is, is, is on the uh, port side. Um, and then you go into what has now become quite a traditional area for us is this, this bar set aft. So sliding, three tier doors, moving in. And as you notice, one level. So unlike the 68 and the 70, you're going to have a one level, no steps at all in this boat, apart from the, the standard one step down into this galley. And that gives us uh, enough room to put a full height refrigerator underneath those flybridge steps. Okay, nice bar area here. Comes the heart of the boat, talking to your guests uh, as you're serving. You can put a crew here if you want to, to, to keep the party going. Good size, plenty of under counter storage as well as the, the above counter. Sink, cooktop. You have a dishwasher under here, oven, everything you need to uh, entertain and have those extended trips away. On the opposite side, we have the dinette. Again, folding table, plenty of storage uh, underneath the seating, as well as really plenty of seats for your, your guests to sit. One of the key elements we're trying to do on these boats now is access storage easier. So underneath here and into the saloon is gonna be drawer storage. Uh, here will be your um, uh, crockery and cutlery storage under here. And then we move aft, oh sorry, forward, into what was uh, a new for us on this size of boat, it was a bar unit. So two stools are optional here. So you can sit down and converse with your guests in the saloon, as well as people out on the aft deck. Right next to that will be a fridge and ice maker should you need them, as well as a place to make your drinks. Coming back into a, a large saloon with these big, you've got to use your imagination again, you, you're not going to be looking at a, an older wall, but you know, a nice view out of those windows. But this big seating, again, uh, trying to emulate and improve what we had on, on the 6870, and I think successfully done it. Again, storage underneath all those seats on, on pull-out drawers. Nice design cues underneath the helm position. And over to this side, quite a lot of design gone into this two-seater. Your pop-up TV will be on this side, so the guys over here can, can watch a movie at night. Moving forward. Nice helm position. Now, I'm not the tallest person in the world, but you can see above my head, you've plenty of room there for, for the taller person to, to stand here. Great visibility forward. Pop-out door, to take you forward onto your Portuguese bridge, so you have a seat in, sun deck. Not the plywood you can see today, but again, use that imagination and you can see a real nice view up there. Integrated glass bridge. So you've got three screens up here, uh, should you want to. Easy layout to, to get to all the navigation. Lots of new design language that the guys have put into here. So nice curving flows that we really first saw probably on the V55 and, and the 85 coming through the entire boat. Step down over into the other side. And this was very, very popular on the on the 68 having that seating where you could converse with your with the person driving but you also have that view out as well as a lovely view back through the boat um good little cubby hole drinks holder underneath and then should you want to we've got a little pull out table now used for snacks or for drinks or even as a little workstation if you wanted to have an office with a view move forward guest accommodation so Steps down to uh, three cabins uh, down there, so separate for, for your guests. And then moving aft, 
opposite way to the 6 days and 70, staircase down into the master cabin. Okay, and you join us here in the lower uh, master cabin of the Y72. Uh, you arrive down a separate staircase from the main deck into your own private uh, lower lobby. Uh, washing machine and, and tumble dryer, traditionally outside of this cabin, has moved forward into the, uh, to the, main, the main guest thoroughfare passageway, uh, which frees up a lot of space here. So you, you now have your, your own linen, linen store or, or large storage space dedicated to this cabin. Now the Y72 is the introductory boat into the Y-class range. So it steps out quite considerably from the, the outgoing uh, F70, which, which is the top of the, of the Princess Flybridge range. Now, when you move up into the Y-class range, it's quite, it takes quite a significant step up in specification and look and feel uh, and also layout. Uh, one of the significant layout changes is the position of the bathroom and the dressing area in this cabin. So on the F70, it was ahead of the bed uh, in, in the corner. Now this follows the rest of our, our range from the Y class, basically from 70 feet up, where that bathroom moves in, in behind the bed. So you access it through here into your own dressing area, just following on from the, the dressing table behind me. You've got a ni nice set of drawers, mirror, large um, storage wardrobe outboard here, and then through into the bathroom with a huge, huge shower, uh, big, big windows. So a large part of that escalation into the, the Y-class range is the character of the boat and the way we portray that in the interior and exterior design. And the, the character and the feel is, is where Pete's been working very hard over the last few months. So um, the first thing that you'll notice in this, in this cabin is there's some very striking features that we brought down from the Y85. For instance, the slatted headboard feature, which will have a really nice soft material next door to it. When you get into a Y-class uh, y boat, there's a lot of attention to detail as well. So for instance, on the, on the vanity table, we've got this chamfered edge detail, which is upholstered in really nice leather. It's got a lovely stitch feature along the top of it. Also, we've got this uh, really nice bookcase, which is also upholstered on the inside. In fact, generally speaking, the cabin will get a lot more upholstery than it would from an F-class boat. Moving on to the, onto the forward bulkheads, uh, we've obviously got the TV here, but around that we've got a really nice wallpaper, uh, which is, a, again, it's a really nice, soft, natural feeling, almost like a linen, basically. And this really nice, uh, soft, upholstered uh, stateroom sofa as well. In terms of the material palettes, we're, we're looking at uh, plush leathers, we're looking at softer fabrics and a very light and airy interior, so it feels very spacious and very inviting. We have so much data around us and experience uh, in the team and in the office of, of, of how to create these, these layouts. We've got a lot of boats in the range. We know what dimensions work for a bed. We know what dimensions work for, uh, for, for a headlining or a gap at the end of the bed. Um, but, but there's something about actually being able to stand on a mock-up and walk around the space and, and, and interact with each other on, on these spaces. Uh, you actually get to feel how, you know, potentially, how the boat's going to be used and how it's going to, to feel in operation. Um, so it, in some ways it feels like an indulgence, but uh, it, you know, it really is an integral part of the, the process. And you know, we always make changes from the mock-up, don't we? As, as much time as you spend you know, on the cab with sketch work and with your drawings, re reviewing materials, all, all the spaces, and you think you've got it absolutely right. But when you're here, you, you, you can always make something better. You can always make it better. Isn't that right? And then, and then Pete, really, from, from the spatial aspect, um, we then start to work on, on, the, on the detail work and, and actually you know, how you're going to get manufacturing involved in, in the process. They'll come and assess this, whether it's not just from a design point of view, but from a manufacturability. You know, how are we actually going to make these slats? How do we assemble them? How do we get them to the, the boat? How, how do you handle the parts? Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of it's one thing spinning a model around on screen and, and getting an idea of the of the proportion and the perspective and the balance of materials that you have. But when you actually come into a space, physical space and you can interact with it. It's, you're not looking through this little letterbox that you had previously. You actually get to feel the proportions and really understand them. It's not two-dimensional anymore. 
So here we are on hole number one of the Y72 down here in Unit 10 at our headquarters in Newport Street. It's a hive of activity here today behind me. There's lots and lots of work going on, so pardon the noise. But as you can see, here we are in the cockpit and um, it's really taking shape. This boat's now been in build for four weeks um, and you can distinctly see some of the features the Y72 has to offer. You've got this really large U-shaped seating here on, on the cockpit sole and you can see the first few steps that are going to make their way up to the flybridge. Uh, in a few uh, weeks time we'll be seeing the canopy go onto the boat and she's really going to start to, to take shape. Um, as we move forward you'll see here we've got a really large opening in the deck space here which gives our engineers access to the engine room for all the fit out work they're doing before the engines go in for their final fit which is going to be happening very soon. And as we move forward through the boat we're at the patio door about here and, uh, and then as I step into here I'm in the dinette space which is to starboard of the galley and on the port side you've got a very very small step down into the galley space um, where you'll find everything you're going to need in, uh, in the galley of a 72 foot motor yacht. Uh, I'd like to point out that on this deck everything is all on one level with the exception of the galley which is uh, a real step forward for the 70 foot flybridge. So as we move forward into the saloon area of the Y72. Uh, you can see the engineers are making great progress on running in all the looming, um, all of the pipe work for the split gas aircon system. There's two aircon systems available on this boat. You've got the standard system, which is good for ambient temperatures up to 40 degrees, and then the Gulf specification, which is good up to 50 degrees. So that's fantastic on a 72 foot yacht. Um, and that, that really is something to say about this boat. It is a step away from the flybridge class and up into the yacht class um, and you'll, you'll see that with some of the other features that you have seen today and, and through the rest of this boat. The helm station will be here at this raised level uh, with dual seats um, and it will be the first to offer the bonning control and monitoring system uh, in the range so 72 will be the smallest boat in the range that offers that um, and that's a first for us so, so that's a really big step forward as well. Uh, you've got the pop-out door here in the cutaway you can see in the deck house here um, and that gives you an indication of just how big that door is going to be which again on a, on a 72 foot yacht is going to be fantastic for the operator or the crew that may be running the boat for for the owner. On the port side here you've got a, a two-step raising to the L-shaped seat that faces forwards um, and again that's raised purely to give you a fantastic view out of the windscreen uh, whether you're in port enjoying a cup of coffee or, or underway uh, en route to your next destination. It also allows for some fantastic headroom down below. The staircase here is separate to the guest accommodation staircase and runs down to the master cabin and you'll see that we've actually run this staircase forwards rather than aft and that, that gives you plenty of volume in the master cabin which on this boat is again really really fantastic. And then much like our Y78 you've got a separate guest staircase which runs down to three cabins and two bathrooms down there which will accommodate up to six guests uh, in plenty of comfort. So as we stand here in the saloon as I say before all on one level you can really start to get a feel for the view you're going to have outboard of this boat on both sides. So this is the starboard side behind what's going to be the U-shaped seating and the, the, the buttress is very very low with, with nothing to obstruct the view beyond it. So that's going to be, once this boat's on the water I cannot wait to see it, it's going to be fantastic. And no different on the port side. We've currently got an S78 next to us here on the production line but, uh, but you can see just looking at the glass in the deck house of the S78 just how good it's going to be. And then you'll have on this side of the the saloon you'll have a pop-down TV uh, which is 55 inches. Um, not much else to say on this deck at this stage, there's going to be a lot more to come soon once the deck house really starts to take shape around us. So the Y72 is really pushing the boundaries and bringing the boat from a flybridge class boat into a Y class boat um, which seems so strange to say on a, on a 70 foot boat but we've really managed to get a lot of features and really push the spec high on this on this model and we think it's going to do really, really well.